Who is ready for a little OG Nicole Burgess YouTube? You want something? Go get it. Period. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you are new. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I'm super stoked for it. We haven't done a video like this in forever. This is gonna be a new series, I guess, here to the channel. Every single month, we're gonna do our favorites. Now, what I mean by favorites, it's kinda of like my empties video I did way back in the beginning of my channel where I go through products and tell you my favorites, why I like them, but they're not empty, if that makes sense, and we're gonna do them every single month. And it's not just going to be workout stuff and like health stuff, I have like a food section, like a health and beauty section, and then just random-ish. And I have so many favorites that I wanted to share. I really had to boil it down to this list for this month. We're just gonna roll over to next month. And y'all ask all the time about certain things, so I thought this would be really fun to do and chit chat about some of my favorites here the past month or so. So we're gonna start off with, with my favorite of all time, which is food, right? And I wanted to start because I have some things I need to put in the freezer and fridge before they like thaw out. And the first one I wanna mention is a sweet treat, macro friendly, the Great Value Fudge Bars. Y'all, these are so good. And if you follow my grocery hauls here every single week on my channel, I have these in cart almost every single week. The vlogs y'all see, the shorts with the what I eat in a days. They are just a really quick and convenient dessert that are only 90 calories a bar. So don't worry about spending the extra money on those Yasso bars. They're 90 to 100 calories. They're gonna be double, triple the price in these. I guarantee it. And these taste, in my opinion, way better. I love these. I can't recommend these enough, guys. We've been mentioning these on the Body on a Budget video series that I have here on my channel. It's just a great macro budget-friendly item and almost everybody has a Walmart around them, right? Speaking of Walmart, we're gonna go ahead and roll with it. The Great Value Blueberry and Lemon Zest Cream Cheese Spread. This stuff is so fire. I have been through multiple jars of it. It is a little bit higher calorie if you are in a calorie deficit. It is 90 calories for two tablespoons, but that two tablespoons is a lot. Honestly, you could probably get away with half of that on a mini bagel or a piece of toast, something like that, versus the whole thing. I'm very surprised by the serving and the quantity of it, but it is just really filled with a great blueberry. It's got that little lemon zest flavor, and it's $2.12 for a eight ounce container, hashtag winning. Really, really good. I haven't tried any of they have like a mixed berry, a strawberry one. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if you've tried that one. I know some of you guys said you're having a hard time finding this one. Apparently they don't always have it at Walmart. This is actually the one I've been finding at my neighborhood market and not my super center. So definitely check it out. I highly recommend. I put it on all the breakfast things. I actually just had it for a snack on some bread. I love it. This is an all defined. This is definitely something that is seasonal. They have it currently right now. So when you're watching, check your Aldi if you have one and see if they have it. It's the Friendly Farms Salted Caramel Whipped Topping. This stuff is so good. It's 15 calories for two tablespoons. This is my second one that I purchased. That's why I figured we should put it in a favorites video. I add this to the top of my protein coffee, which I have a recipe video on how to make your profi, protein coffee, if you will. I just bought the chocolate one, but I made my Butterfinger Snatched Shake, which I need to do a shorts for that here over here on YouTube. But I added this to the top of my Butterfinger Protein Shake and it was so good. So I wanted to go ahead and have another one on hand. I've been eating my coffee. It doesn't expire until the end of June. So when you see these guys, stock up on them because this is one of my favorite flavors that Aldi has had as far as a specialty whipped topping. I finally found the Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream zero soda, guys. I've been on the hunt for this, what feels like forever. Finally found it. They've only had the regular at my Walmart. I found this at Winn-Dixie. If you have a Winn-Dixie, check it out. They had plenty of this in stock. If you like strawberry flavor and a little hint of cream, I can't put my finger on this, what it reminds me of. A lot of people said it reminds them of those strawberry swirl lifesaver cream things that it was like everybody's jam back in the day and they brought them back. A lot of people say they compare it to that. I'm not sure. I can't compare it and put my finger on it per se, but I just know that it's hella good. It's really good. I'm not a fan of all of the Dr. Pepper Zero flavors they've brought out. I've mentioned that before, but this one, I will definitely buy as many as I can as long as they have it. 
My sister told me that this may be a permanent flavor. If y'all know any inside information, y'all let me know, because if not, I won't go ham on buying them, but I highly recommend this one. It is really good. The kids have tried it. They love it too. So if you see it, I give it a thumbs up. I know some people don't like it. All these flavor things are always a hit and miss with certain people. Our taste buds are so different. And last, but surely not least, is uh, Shamrock. And now this is a favorite for me all of the year, not just for the month of February, but this just launched actually yesterday when I'm filming. So check down below, I have a direct link. My code in Burgess gets you a discount at checkout. This is so my jam. I, I can't even put words on how great it is. But as you can see, this was a full jar when I got it and this was a day's worth of damage for me. Yeah, it, it's a problem as far as how much I like it. Yesterday when we had our launch day, I purchased five. A lot of y'all were shook that I only got five because when it retired, they retire these flavors sometimes if you were new to American Dream Nut Butter. And I bought 10 or 12 before it retired and I just ran out of my backup stash, but that was me rashing it. If I were to act like this, it would be out way quick, obviously, right? But I just ordered five because it will be on site for a little while unless it sells out, they will replenish it. But definitely get this one. It's my top flavor of all time. I am gonna do a new updated American Dream Tops flavors video for y'all. Y'all have been screaming for it, but this will always be my number one cashew butter. That's gonna do it for the food snacky stuff. Let me go run this back to the fridge and the freezer. Next, let's dive into some health and beauty things. I've been loving some new makeup products I've been trying out for the past couple of months. I wanted to share with you guys so first we're gonna talk about skincare. Obviously my favorite skincare of all time is Beauty Counter. I have a link down below. I can help you with any of their products, but I have so many of my favorites right from Beauty Counter. And I said, girl, just narrow it down to one, like one thing that somebody would have to buy if they were a first time Beauty Counter user. And it's got to be, it's got to, I use this every single day of my life. And it's one of the things that I think just so enhances my day-to-day -day skincare. It's the Beauty Counter All Bright C Serum. I am obsessed with this stuff, y'all. It just gives your skin such a glow. I wear it when I go work out, so the first thing I do is I do my whole morning regimen, but I put this on, and as soon as I put this on, you can see a sheer of glowness on your face, and it's just so good for your skin as well. You should be using serums day and night. Highly recommend. This is the one that I use in the daytime, but again, it just gives you that like sun-kissed glow with the moisture just sucked into your skin. I just absolutely love this stuff. So I was like, what do I recommend to them first when we start doing these favorites? And it's got to be the All Bright line, but the All Bright C Serum specifically is a must, guys, for me. You've got to have it in your life. Like I said, I have all the details down below, but always happy to help you with anything beauty counter. Now let's get into some makeup stuff since we talked about skincare. So I was using Saint Makeup for a long time, you guys know, I wanna be upfront about that. And for me, I'm gonna be 40 in June, June 1st, I'll be the big 4-0. And cream makeup, I'm still going that route you're gonna see, but I know that Saint is not the most affordable for everybody, and for me, I don't know, something about it, it just was, even though it's supposed to promote not as much product, I had to put a lot of product to get it to work for my skin, and it was just making me look older, I feel. I don't know. I used it for a long time and I absolutely loved it, but we always use stuff sometimes and we cycle out of it, right? So that is just the human in us. And the eyeshadows and stuff from Saint, I still highly recommend, but I wanted to go more of a drugstore route. You know, we're always trying to pinch those pennies, hence the body on a budget videos, everything here, the couponer in me if you're an OG YouTuber. So I said, let's dive into some drugstore makeup, see if it works. That way I can suggest it to you guys if it does. And lo and behold, I found some hidden gems. So the first thing I wanna talk about, and most of you guys probably already use this, I used to use the Maybelline Fit Me stuff a lot too, is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I am wearing the shade uh, number uh, 10 Fair, your girl is a little bit on the fair side, okay? But you wanna go lighter on your concealer anyway. And what I'm doing with my concealer that I've learned over time is to not do a big swoosh like under the eye, especially where we, as we age, we have creasing and fine lines. 
So you really don't want to put a lot of product there because it's going to cake. Even if you put powder and stuff on it, it's going to make it worse. And when you smile and stuff in your fine lines crinkle up, it's just going to enhance it versus making you look younger. It makes you look older. So if you put a little bit where your actual like dark circles are down here and you take a, a puff or whatever you use and you kind of like blend it in that way and just put a little product under the eye makes it go a long way it actually makes you look younger versus trying to mask that area if that makes sense so that's what i've been doing and i feel like the coverage with this is good i don't feel like i'm getting a lot of creasing anything with that i know most people use the fit me line as like their og so for me too i'm bringing it back i used it forever in a day and I'm loving it so far. To go on top of the concealer, I'm using, and I had to buy these, for at least for me anyway, it didn't come with a pump. I actually bought these pumps on Amazon. I will link them down below if you're in need of a pump for anything like that, instead of just pouring it on your beauty blender on your hand. This is the Matte Poreless in the Fit Me line as well, Maybelline, and this is the Normal to Oily Foundation with clay, blah, blah, blah. I'm wearing the shade 238 Rich Tan, which I feel like matches my skin tone perfection i got lucky on that i don't know how that happened because that never happens when i'm trying to match myself in store or anything like that but what i like about this one is it really is like a race poreless when you put it on it just sinks so well into the skin it's not like it's caking to any problem areas i don't see any of that when i put it on it blends beautifully it like i said it's a perfect match for me and i think the shade range on this was pretty good as well but i just love the flawless like airbrush look it gives my skin and i'm not putting a lot on either i take a little bit on the pump and i just dab little dots all over the area and i take my brush and i just blend it in pat it in into the skin and you don't need a lot so like this is going to go a long way again drugstore affordable so far loving this fit me combo to go on top and we have a theme going here to go on top i use this forever i don't know why i ever got rid of it but again as you're aging you don't want a lot of powder because that's going to make your skin look drier when you smile fine lines are going to show all that stuff um as most of you guys can tell your girl does not get any type of botox filler or anything like that everything that you see here is natural always has been and as of right now always will so we've got the fit me loose finishing powder in light 15 is what I'm using and I take my puff and I dab it on there and I just put a little bit just to seal in what I just showed you guys I don't put any on my under eye so it doesn't get dry and cakey and again it just gives a smooth airbrush finish loving this so much I don't think you can go wrong with the fit me line I guess is what I'm trying to say enough about Maybelline and the fit me let's talk about some other makeup products yes your girl got sucked down the rabbit hole of the like mascara drama with the l'oreal telescopic lift if you know you know if you've been on tiktok you know all about the drama behind this mascara however like most people said and i will agree it's a freaking great mascara now y'all know the thrive market or the thrive cosmetics mascara is my all-time favorite tubing mascara but for a regular mascara dang this one is freaking fire i'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys but it's got a weird kind of wand as you guys can see but you apply the product and then you put it to the side and you take the little lash separator and it really does elongate your lashes make them really full really long i'm wearing it today it comes off really easily as well no flaking no smudging i'm finding with it even while working out at the gym, I've had some issues with other mascara doing that when I'm working out. This one does not do that. I'm really, really digging it a lot. I think it's like $15 at CVS. You can get it cheaper at like Walmart, use a coupon, all the things. But I will tell you for a drugstore mascara, this one's pretty legit. Last makeup product we're going to talk about and don't ask about, I mean, I dropped it on the floor. First off, it's got a hair on it. It wouldn't be like a an empties favorite product talking video if we didn't have something stuck all over it. But I dropped it on the floor and it got all dented and jacked and I wasn't buying another one. This is the Wet n Wild. These are the little cream bronzers. They have blushes, they have highlighter sticks. I don't, can't even tell you what the actual Mega Glow, the uh, contour, all right? This is the contour stick, but I'm using it as a bronzer and the shade on it is 806 Wears Walnut. I will try to link everything down below as well. I love that it's cream. What I do, and I'm wearing it today, you just pat little dots, 
you do your contour, your whatever you want to do, all where it's supposed to go. And I take my brush and I just it blends so effortlessly. It gives you that sun kiss glow that you want. It's not too dark, it's not too light. Loving this shade so much. And for a cream wet and wild stick, I think this was like three bucks, y'all. I mean, this is a gem. I have the blush too. It's got shimmer in it, which isn't my favorite, but I like the way it blends too. And then I have one, not the stick like this, but I have a wet and wild highlighter that will be coming in next month's favorites that I am loving so much. And I have it on today, but cannot recommend enough these like stick things check your drugstore check walmart loving these and the price point on them they are comparable some people are saying to like some higher end and i would have to agree based off performance but highly recommend this little gem right here we got a hair care product so i've been getting so many comments on my hair on the past couple of shorts reels the grocery haul videos that i've done i'm gonna do a gray hair update i am pretty much all grown out at this point and this is what we are working with here in the ring light. As you can see, I've got some patches that are a little bit more prominent than others, but I have been loving the shampoo and I wanted to share with my other silver sisters out there or my other platinum blondes out there. This is gonna be great for you too. It is the L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System and the purple shampoo neutralizes brassy yellow or orange tones. And I will definitely agree with that because when I use this, my gray is, my silver is a shining bright like a diamond okay we like rihanna up in here with <laughs> this stuff is so freaking good drugstore y'all affordable i actually got it off amazon but you can find it everywhere so freaking cheap don't worry about buying the high end i was using a high-end shampoo for like months it was doing nothing for my natural silver color started using this for about a month or so seeing a world difference in the comments that you guys were making on the, and i had nothing has changed guys i've had the same haircut for the same year i've just been letting my hair grow it's not colored natural all natural y'all know and i've been getting a flood of comments about my hair lately i'm like i haven't changed anything but this okay so i highly recommend this stuff if you have silver gray hair and you're wanting it to like pop shine have your hair look super healthy or if you are a blonde and you're wanting to like keep that color soaked in it is purple shampoo like it says guys but it's not going to stain your hands it's not going to stain your skin it comes right out of your hair your hair's not gonna be purple anything like that just leave it in after you lather while you're washing your body to let that product actually get in there and it just when it comes out y'all can see like how pretty and silky and shiny does it make your hair look Mm -mm -mm. love it love it love it won't go back to the high-end stuff again last but not least in the makeup and beauty stuff whatever we got going on i don't know how people are not talking about this like i this is some sorcery going on here i don't even know my sister bought me these magic erasers y'all know they've been around forever years all right magic erasers you get them at whatever beauty thing i will link them down below they probably got them on amazon she got me the pack and it's like the big pack to where you put them in this bag and you add them to your washer and you wash them like with towels and they come out clean and they work every time and it's supposed to like be you can wash these like up to a million times i'm not even exaggerating it says that on the box but i kept one out for you guys that i used last night on this mascara and it just is so like one swipe, one or two swipes and you're like done with just warm water in this little pad. That is it. No more of paying for the makeup wipes that are million dollar that freaking burn your eyeballs when you're trying to get all up in there. It doesn't even get the ish off your eyes and off of your face. Burns your freaking skin. Not good for you. This is the way, it's just water in a pad. I cannot believe it. And how freaking cost efficient is this? You buy it one time, it might be expensive up front, but you just wash these for like years upon years, it says on the box. Like, I mean, you would think that they wouldn't promote that, but they are. It is magic and sorcery in a freaking box. I don't even know, but it comes with a, a bunch of them. All right, the thing that I'm gonna link below, look how many comes in there. So it's gonna last you like a week. It takes off all my other makeup as well, but usually on day to day, I'm just wearing mascara and my skincare because I'm working out like a fiend. But I, I, I'm shook by these, shook. And I don't know how it works and I don't even care, but I had to share this with you guys because I don't know how every woman on the planet 
is not switched over to these. Like, why are they even making makeup wipes at this point? They should be putting them out of business, legit. I saved the health and fitness stuff for the end because I figure we're always talking about that here on the channel. I want to do all the fun extra stuff first, but I know a lot of you guys definitely want to hear about my recommendations favorites that I'm currently loving for health and fitness. So first off and always off is going to be the stack. And I know I feel like I mention it in every vlog, but I probably get asked and messaged about it every single day, multiple times a day about it. So I try to like put it on as many videos as possible to help answer questions in case you miss other things. So what I'm referring to is the PE Science Stack, which is your creatine that you take each and every day that's going to promote and enhance muscle growth. The Prolific, which is their caffeinated pre-workout and the high volume, which is their non-caffeinated pre-workout. And a lot of people have asked me why I take both pre-workouts together and not just one. Like, why am I not just taking this one? Because I do like and enjoy caffeine. It's because I feel like the extra that you get from the high volume gives you an extra pump. We're always about that extra pump when we're in the gym, especially. And a little bit of extra energy and jackness that it gives me when I add this with the heaping scoop of the prolific. So that's why I like to take them together. And of course, everybody should be taking creatine if you're even in a weight loss stage, yes, and trying to build muscle, lose fat should be taking that every day including your rest days but black cherry specifically is my favorite flavor i feel like it has something extra in it i've said this before i think it's a placebo thing but i don't care i'm here for all that kind of stuff and i love this so much it doesn't give you any tingle itchiness that you get with some pre-workouts i know a lot of you guys don't enjoy that it just gives you a lot of energy and just gets you really set in pumped and jacked up for your workout. So I always have PE Science link down below and Burgess gets you a discount with their protein powders, all the things y'all know I love it, but I had to include this in my first favorites video. Next is a new recent favorite. I just started using these the past few weeks. One of you guys recommended it to me. So thank you always so much for recommendations on stuff. And this is the Cobra Grips. Now I don't use these for my all things gloves. I have my regular just plain Amazon gloves. These are for anything that you're going to specifically be pulling and a pulling motion to help with grip. So if you're struggling with progressive overload, which means you're trying to either progress either on weight every week or increase your reps every week to enhance muscle growth and strength, you want to have something that's going to help with your grip. Mine specifically, my grip will give out before my actual strength. And I've realized that since switching over to these freaking Cobra grips, specifically doing lat pull downs with holding dumbbells with trying to do Bulgarian split squats, trying to do RDLs, doing deadlifts. These help so much. So what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna put them on and it goes over your wrist, okay? A lot of y'all said y'all had these and you were using them wrong. So you're using the strength basically from your, your wrist and your actual body, whatever you're trying to use for movement and not your grip. This did have a Cobra design. I will say that will rub off pretty quick, especially if you're lifting heavy, but you're gonna put this underneath the bar and basically it's gonna hook and hold onto it and your hand's gonna be over the grip like this, okay? So you, when it's hooked, you see how it's latched like that? You could basically, like if you wanted to, leave your hand like this and it's going to stay in this position, grab the bar, the dumbbell, whatever you have, and you're using this. You're using your force of your body to pull now and not worry about holding on and pulling down with your hand. So I am feeling the mind muscle connection so much more, especially with lat pull downs. I'm just like, just using my, my arms, my lats to actually pull the weight down and not worrying about, oh, getting it down with my, my strength of my hand grip, if that makes sense. But man, I am a believer of these. These are affordable compared to some of the higher ends of these. It's like a dupe for those. They're from Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. If your goal, like I mentioned earlier, is to progressively overload and really like lift heavy, these have been a godsend for me. So thank you so much for the recommendation. Next, I got an OG and some people still ask me about these. So on leg days, I like to wear like a Converse style shoe just because the grip is so great for what I'm trying to accomplish, like I said, with lifting heavy. And 
and I didn't want to pay the Converse price, even though I have a pair of Converse, just regular ones. The high tops, they were out of stock when I was looking last year. I've had these for a year. No, they're not Converse. These are actually Amazon dupes. They look just like Converse, right? There's just no Converse logo on them. They come in many colors. I just got the black, and these are the same ones I had last year. Here's the bottom for reference as far as the, the grip goes. I mean, these things are like, they're Converse. I'm convinced that they are Converse. They just don't have the freaking label on them. They're made in the same factory, whatever you want to say. But I am obsessed with these on leg day. They help so much with stabilization, all the things. And a lot of y'all have asked me if I'm still using these and love them. Yes, I am. As you can see, they're still right here. And we haven't had to buy a replacement. So a lot of y'all are asking if I had to like replace them pretty quickly because they're Amazon. They're not, they're, che they're not cheaper. They are Converse. I am convinced they're just freaking hella cheap. I think these are like, what, 20 bucks? Something dumb, guys. I'll have it linked down below, but... Yes, these are a must for leg day. A must for back day that I've been using for months now. I'm converted. If you watch any of my upper videos, this is the only sports bra I wear now, is the Arolas. All right. I love this brand so much. Love their leggings. But this specifically, this moon bra, okay, it's like a halter. As you can see, it's got two latches to make it tighter, looser. And then it's just got the strap across the back. And it is so comfortable on the tatas, all right? It runs big. I usually wear a medium large in sports bras. This is a small, and it's still a little big um, in the tata area uh, for me, but mine aren't that big, okay? But it just really makes your back look the sexiest ever. It fits every single part of your body the way you want, especially when you are like doing lat pull downs and things. It's like everything just looks immaculate. There's no like pinching and gathering from other sports bras that will make some of your back fat like come out and you're like self-conscious about it. At least that's me anyway. And I know a lot of people can relate. This does not. It just like holds the tatas in place and it's just got one simple strap in the back is all you want on back day. And man, oh man, your back and your your whole arms, upper body look fire. I have it in a bunch of colors, not every color they make, and they're constantly releasing new colors. So highly recommend them. Have it linked down below, but I just can't do upper day anymore with any other sports bra but this one. It is a must upper day. Last favorite for February 2023 is a pair of leggings. They're not Arolas. I do love them, like I mentioned, but these I feel are don't tell anybody but i feel like these are better than the arolas i just bought a red pair i love this blue one though specifically but the red ones fits just the same don't ask me the brand they don't have any logoing and stuff on them which i really appreciate and love too it's an amazon brand and they're actually cheaper than arolas and they're already like super affordable for what they are and dupes for some high-end stuff if you know you know but i will have these linked down below i'm wearing a medium in these i decided to get a bigger fit just because i like the way that the Butt scrunch fits on these and the legs and stuff. The compression on them is good, but they're super loose and comfy, but they don't show any bumps, cellulite, nothing you got going on, which I say that the Arolas do in some colors for sure, but this one and the red ones did not, and they just make your glutes and your legs look so freaking snatched and fire. I cannot recommend them enough. They've become my favorite legging to wear and I only have the two pair. Like I said, I just bought the red, but this one specifically is, no, every time I wear them, I'm like, damn, like my lower half looks so freaking fire when I wear these. I'm telling you guys, it is a new favorite of mine. They come in a lot of different plain colors. I haven't tried any of the plain ones yet. I'm kind of scared because they look like they might be a little bit different fabric. I don't know, but I'm going to venture out and try them. But they are like, I think they're less than $20 or $21 for a pair of leggings. And for how great they are, oh my gosh, y'all. Like it is... You can always return them too if you get the wrong size. You're not like the way that they fit and, and exchange them for another one, which is great about Amazon too. But they have this band up here, like I said, which is pretty um, good compression with the band. And then this is all loosey goose. Like look, loosey goosey, stretchy, so comfy. But that butt scrunch, especially if you get a, I got a size up for that. And I feel like it definitely enhances the glutes more versus them being super tight and you can't get that scrunch ugh, up where you need it to go. That's my recommendation is if you're usually like a small size up, I'm usually small on leggings, but I've been buying mediums lately because 
the badonky donks getting a little bit bigger and they just they just curve and clutch to it a little bit more you know what i mean I had to share these with you guys they've become my new favorite i need to venture out and get some of the plain colors so that's gonna do it for this month's favorites video our first one we've put i don't think i've done a favorites video before like i said og nicole youtube land was like about the empties and stuff way back in the day 2016 i know it's been a long time but i'm super happy to be sitting down just talking about random stuff with you guys i feel like that's refreshing and fun and i miss that og youtube style so i wanted to bring this back i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you did enjoy it i will have another one next month like i said i had so many things i wanted to talk about but we gotta shorten them down and keep them a little bit condensed for you guys and we'll just roll them month to month if you're new i'd love to have you make sure you subscribe hit all the bells and whistles before you leave y'all let me know what your favorites are or have been for this month that you're absolutely loving and or if it's something that I mentioned and you agree that you love it or that you don't love it let's converse about it down below and have a conversation but I'm really eager to see what you've been digging when it comes to any topic so leave it down below thank y'all so much for watching I'll see y'all in the next video and y'all have a great day awesome weekend and we'll see you then bye y'all